So um, this is the ante room, and um, if you were going to be putting in stock from the ante room, you would take these carts, and you could just roll them up over up to this place here where there's the red line. And then from inside either the IV room or the top of the vial. We also don't take the syringes or needles out of their packaging that they're in. We just leave them that way, but everything else um, goes in out of its package, and it's all misted on the way um, as it's uh, transferred from one cart into the next. So in terms of this. Okay, and what I really want you to pay attention with this is when you're looking at a large volume French roll bag, um, they all look basically the same, and so the print is very small and it's very similar. So it's incredibly important that you pay really close to the drug and the diluent, but the um, seal isn't broken and so the product isn't mixed. And then when the product is sent to the patient care unit, um, the nurse is required to uh, break the seal and mix the product together before the drug is administered to the patient. So it's really trissels. And you told me that you have heard of that before, but I've you've not seen it. I've heard of it, but I've actually never seen it because I've never really had hospital experience. Okay. So well, um, the, the physical look of the book is not all that important, but what's really important is the content in it. Um, and what we use trissels for, you'll undoubtedly have several patients that you'll be involved in doing vancomycin kinetics for. And um, if you have a patient that you know is receiving vancomycin but their levels come back zero, mm -hmm. the first thing that you need to check into is their distribution system because if they use the Advantage system, it may well be that their compatibility. And then also, which I think that you might have heard at one of the other stations in here, but also when products are being administered, if there's a primary IV fluid that's hanging and you have the tubing that's coming down, oftentimes there's a little piece of the tubing off to the side that's known as a Y site. Mm -hmm. And so the Y site enables you to administer medications, but closer to the patient. Mm -hmm. So the two drugs may not be in contact with each other for very long, but it still could be long enough to create a procedure. Um, and then if you can swing around this way a little bit, I want to show you something. We're actually going to remove this from our room, but um, we have this sink because historically it had been um, common to have sort of a mop sink that was back within the area of the clean room that's supposed to be the most sterile. Mm -hmm. um, but actually those have sort of, um, in, in within the clean room there's at least four things, actually probably a few more, that I would like you to look for that seem unusual or, or maybe inappropriate to you. Well, I see that there's a lot of needles coming out of this waste container. Is that appropriate? No. Well, are we allowed to have Coke cans? It looks like the Coke can shouldn't be there, isn't it? Um, there is a Coke can in the refrigerator, and despite the fact that are working with uh, the syringes or needles, that you're not ever crossing your body with those. Mm -hmm. So in other words, if you're right-handed, you would want to have your, if it was in the hood, you would want to have your bin here, or you would want to have your uh, hazardous material bin here. Similarly, if you're left-handed, you would want to move it over so it's on this side, so you're always moving. Okay, and we, uh, we actually made this so full service that if you were to go out the door into the hallway and turn left a little bit, that you would actually... Okay, and then what about anything uh, in this particular hood? Is the medication allowed to be, uh, is the penicillin G allowed to just be sitting there? Yeah, you, it can be. If you're working with that particular vial and you have it in the hood, it, it's okay if it's there. Anything else that looks um, maybe, maybe thirsty <laughs> during your shift, we would appreciate it if that wasn't in there. Absolutely. Maybe you can take a look either at this middle hood or the far hood and see if you think there's anything in there. How about here, right here? Is this appropriate? Do you know what those are? No, what are they? Those are actually dispensing. Be able to tell if somebody over here needs some help and they can pass back and forth and actually do the checking and just make the operational piece of things run a little bit more efficiently. Okay. So, um, if you want to, you can come back out into the main area of the place. Okay, go ahead and now you can move your head around and
atrium is not used, any sort of a mop, even if it was kept in the more sterile area. But you know the little um, Swiffer things that you can buy that uh -huh. actually sweep up things on the floor? Well, if you get the Swiffer unit without the liquid, but you um, can also get pads that are um, sterile but moist. And so you can actually use those as the Swiffer pad and clean the floor that way. The other thing that you could use is they have these little disc-like devices. It doesn't spread further. You may just pull one or two of those chemo pads out and just drop it on there. But, um, but to the extent that you could, I would avoid trying to put it on people's feet like mine. Um, by any chance, do you know what that medication is? Um, well, the, the reddest thing that I can think of that we make um, is Dr. Rubicin mm -hmm. or Adriamycin. So that's probably what it is. Okay, now other things within this room that you can identify that might be